Hallelujah, Jesus renounce. Hallelujah, Jesus renounce. Hallelujah, Jesus renounce. Over our homes, Jesus renounce. God bless you, the beloved of my father. You are welcome to this beautiful day and this beautiful month. Jesus reigns over us. He reigns over our lives. He reigns over our family. He reigns over our nation. And He reigns over everything that carries our name upon it in Jesus' name. Our precious Father, we thank you for bringing us to the 10th month of the year 2024. Glory be to your name forever. You are our God. We are the sheep of your pasture. You have never suffered our feet to be moved. We are grateful, Lord. Our sin today is your handiwork. I will return all the glory to you. We are about to listen to your word. Let your word we are going to hear right now make us wiser unto salvation. Let this word be a healing to every injury in our lives. And let this word teach us how to live and move and walk according to your will. Holy Spirit Divine, we welcome you. Expand these words in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. Good day, everyone. God bless you. Depends on when and where you are watching this program. I pray that the presence of God that brought you into this beautiful day will see you throughout the remaining days of the year and many other days ahead of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you this will not be your last month on earth. You need to see many, many, many Octobers ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just prayed. Amen. Thank you for tuning to this broadcast. It's a monthly broadcast on this channel. We are having a topic today for the month of October. Our theme for the month of October says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Casting all my cares upon him, for he careth for me. First Peter chapter 5 verse 7 is our text for the month. Casting all my cares, not some, all my cares upon him, for he, the Lord, careth for me. Refer to yourself, say after me, casting all my cares upon him, for he, the Lord, careth for me. Amen. The life we are in is full of challenges. It is full of desires. No man can handle these challenges without the help of the Almighty God. Life has a lot of cares, a lot of things to be met, a lot of needs to be met. And sometimes these needs are without our reach. Based on some facts of life, we are not able to assess these needs with our human strength and endeavor. Care means having concern over earthly things. We have our daily needs. We have our daily cares. And God Almighty has a good plan for you. Here this morning, we have to turn to the scriptures to get an answer to these questions. In the book of First Peter, Apostle Peter was admonishing the church. And he said, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time. Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. 
So like I did say, these earthly needs and desire, they are there. And by the way God created us, we are supposed to meet these needs on a daily basis, on a daily basis, in every season of our lives. But as humans, sometimes we look at the situation with our physical eyes and there is no answer in view. We begin to have worries. We now become anxious. Anxiety now comes in. How do I do this and that? How do I meet my personal need? How do I meet my family need? How do I meet one need or the other? Sometimes it looks like an impossible task. Sometimes it seems as if we are about to faint. Sometimes we open our eyes wide in the night. We will not be able to sleep. Because we are trying to figure out how we can settle these issues that are daily glaring at us. At that juncture, what do we do? We go to the scriptures to find out God's mind concerning that matter for you and I. And the summary of it is that you and I, we are being advised to cast it all on the Lord in prayers. Different challenges face us as mortals. Could be health challenges, financial challenges, family challenges, matrimonial challenges, whatever challenge you are facing, like the one we are facing in our country right now, prices are escalating. People cannot even afford three square meals in a day. The Lord says, cast that care upon me, for I care for you. If you go to the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, let's see what the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 6. I want to read something to your hearing. Just listen, child of God. God knows, like I always say, that this time we come. And Jesus gave us his words. If you have the Bible by your side, the portion I'm going to read now is in red letter. I'm reading from verse 25 of Matthew chapter 6. I'll read up to verse 31. Jesus says, do not worry. Do not worry about all these things. Your worrying about it cannot solve it. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, and yet for your body, what you shall put on. It is, is not the life more than meat, and the body, the body than raiment. Behold, the fowl of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than them? Which of you, by trying to take thought, have been able to add one cubit to your height? And why take thought for remit? Consider the lilies of the valley. How they grow. They do not they do not toy, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he no much more clothe you? O G of little faith. Verse 31 and the last. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Praise God. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. God has spoken through his son Jesus to you and I. It's not that these things are not there, but don't carry them on your head. Learn to give it to God in prayers. 
let to tell Jesus, please take care of me tomorrow. Help me. As you are doing that, as you are doing your, your own part, playing your little part of the game, leave the rest for him. He will be able to take care. These worries will come. They can give you sleepless nights. Child of God, this month, cast it all on Jesus. He is able to care for you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. You are being told to be careful for nothing. What does that mean? Don't worry yourself about anything. When the need comes, when the thought comes, he said by prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. Instead of weeping and crying and mourning over the issue, go on your knees and make the request known unto God. Amen. God answers prayers. I'm encouraging you this morning, child of God, be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. How am I going to feed? How am I going to clothe myself? How am I going to pay my children's school fees? How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do this and that? When the need comes, go on your knee and say, Father, make a way for me where there is no way. Send me a helper. He will definitely send you a helper. Amen. He does it. This month, I want you to try it. Yours might not be your food. It might not be daily uh, food. It might be one need or the other. Like some of us who are outside the country, for years you have been waiting for your, your, your permanent stay. You have been uh, looking for your documents and they are not coming. You have paid. You have done all you are supposed to do and it's not coming forth. This month of October, cast that matter on him. He will handle it for you. Say, Father, help me to get my documents. Take it to God in prayers every day. He said, cast it upon me, for I care. If, for example, I carry this flower vase, and I put it on a table, like this flower vase that belongs to me, I lay it and put it on this table, the, the weight of the flower vase can no longer be on me. That's what we are talking about. The weight will no longer be on you. I have tried it and it worked. There was a time in my life, all the clothes in my wardrobe were shreds. And what I mean by shreds is that there was no good one I could wear and go out. Everything just turned to rags. And that's why one of my sons, I say, changed my life from rags to riches. Rags. You know what it is to put on clothes that are not befitting. That day I opened my wardrobe. I wanted to go to church and there were no good clothes. All of them have turned to shreds. I remember I just opened that wardrobe and I said, Lord, please let me put clothes in this wardrobe. I need clothes. I just need clothes. To wear. Because you clothe the, the grasses of the field, the lilies of the valley. I said, Lord, please give me clothes. I need good clothes that I can wear to wherever I want to go. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Immediately I prayed that prayer. My beloved, I closed the wardrobe and I left there. Not quite a week. Not quite a week. God sent me help. One of my friends who has traveled said, God just laid the heart and said, go and give this amount of money to your friend. She needs it now. Lo and behold, a week later, the younger brother came and knocked at my door. And said, Auntie says, I should give you this money. That is long she heard from you. Oh, I said, may God bless her in Jesus' name. And with that amount of money then, I was able to buy new clothes, good ones, that I could afford at that time. God answered that prayer instantly. I don't know what is your need in life. He said, casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. And the other part says, be careful for nothing. 
That's where I am now. Be careful for nothing. That means don't allow anything bother you. Once you have casted it upon the Lord, leave it there. The next thing you do, you go on your knees and say, Father, give me a child. Father, give me food. Father, give me clothes. Father, give me whatever you want God to give to you. He will give it to you, child of God. Because his might for you is that you will have peace. His might for you is that you will prosper. Being hurt, even as your soul prosperes. Amen. Husbands matter, children matter, government matter, food matter, whatever is the matter. This month of October, cast it upon the Lord. He will sustain you. He will feed you. When the children of Israel were in the wilderness, the people shouted at Moses, we need meat. We have been eating this manna, 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 manna. We want to eat flesh. And Moses called on the God of heaven. And God brought quails from the sea. They ate and were satisfied. This month, cast your cares upon it, upon him, for he cared for you. Let's go further to Philippians 4.19. The word of God tells us in Philippians 4.19, For the Lord shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. This month of October, these three four scriptures we have, use them to live your life. Don't be anxious. Let the anxiety go in the name of Jesus. Cast all your cares. All. I didn't say some. What did I say? Cast all your cares upon him. That thing that will make you go to bed and not sleep. Tell Jesus. He will fix it for you. He will answer your prayers. He's just waiting for you to ask. It's like... Somebody comes to your house and he's and standing by the door. He refuses to use the doorbell or to knock. He will just be there endlessly. That's how God is. He said, Lord, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If you open for me, I will come in and sup with you. By the time you know that God is your father, don't stand at the door and be quiet. Knock. Knock at the door. He will say, who is there? Say, it's me, your son. It's me, your daughter. This is what I want. He will definitely answer you. I pray that God will bless you. That this month of October, God will give you the grace to cast all your cares upon him, the one that careth for you. Men care for a while. If you go to a man more than once, you will become a problem. So for that reason, who are we going to look up to? I'm going to look up to Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. So in this month of October, lift up your eyes onto the hills. If that matter becomes so strong in your heart, go on your knees and pray. Cast it all on him. Then begin to move freely. Before you know, the problem will be solved in a way you never expected. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you. We are going to take some prayer points. Are you ready now? Let us pray. Say, O oh Lord, I cast all my cares upon you. Open your mouth and cast that care upon Jesus. What is the care? What is the challenge? What is that thing that is making you to be anxious? Say, Father, I bring this matter before you. Father, help me to handle it. Open your mouth and pray. Our precious Father, we thank you. I bring this matter before you. The matter before your children. I bring it before you, Lord. Whatever it is, O oh God, you have a solution to every problem. Help them to solve this problem, my Lord. Help your son, help your daughter to solve this problem and give them victory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember we are casting our cares upon him. Mention the challenge. Number two, say, Lord, I know you can do it. So, Lord, do it for me. I believe you can make me whole. I believe you can give me food. I believe you can give me clothes. I believe you can make a way for me where there is no way. I believe you can heal my marriage. I believe, oh Lord my God, that everything that is not normal in my life, you can make it normal. Open your mouth and begin to tell God, so Lord, I believe you. You are able to do it for me. Somebody pray today. Somebody talk to Jesus because he's standing by. He told you, Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. So today we are casting all our cares upon you, dear Lord. Father, your children are praying. We believe you can do it, O Lord. 
Father, do it for them and take their glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have heard us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That prayer, that prayer happens, says, Lord, I receive peace concerning this matter. As you have handed that matter over to Jesus, say, Lord, I receive peace concerning this, ma concerning this matter. This matter will no longer give me a sleepless night. Open your mouth. Receive your peace concerning that matter. Receive your peace concerning that matter. That matter will not torture you to death. That matter will not be an issue in your life. Ah, Palaba Santa Rabu Yalakata Rabba, Ye Brele Bede Bede Bede, O Lord God of Heaven, we receive peace concerning this matter. Give your children peace concerning this matter. This matter they have handed over to you, Lord. Give them peace to be still so that they can know that you are God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give them peace concerning this matter so that they will know that you are God. In the name of Jesus, after the children of Israel asked for quiz, you gave it for me to give them quiz. Your children have asked you, O oh Lord, give them peace concerning this matter and supply that they are need according to your riches in glory. That by November, there will be a testimony in this house that you did something when somebody listened to this broadcast and applied it. In Jesus' name, the Lord settle your matter. Amen. Now we are going to pray for our land. The book of Chronicles tells us, If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and depart from their wicked ways, I, the Lord, will hear from heaven and heal their land. Our land is sick. Yeah. This country, Nigeria, is sick. So let's pray for the healing of our land. When Elijah was taken up to heaven, Elisha just got the mantle of authority from Elijah and he got to a city. And the people told him, Oh God, you can see that this city is very fine, but our water is not good. But, but the man of God told them, Get me salt in a cruise. And he went to the source of the water and poured it there. And the Bible said that water was healed till today. It's still healed. Our nation needs help. Wherever you are, as you are watching me from the surface of the earth, if you are in Nigeria and you are not in Nigeria, help us to pray, pray for Nigeria. This country is so sick. We need God's intervention. Oh Lord, have mercy on Nigeria and heal our land. Let's pray for our nation, Nigeria. No food is now something you cannot afford. We are talking of food now. We are not talking of cars. We are not talking of other things. We are just talking of our daily bread. And the Lord said we should ask him to give us our daily bread. So pray for Nigeria. Open your mouth and pray for this land. Our precious Father, we lift up our nation Nigeria before you. This country is so sick that we need you, the great physician. Come and heal our land. Father, come and settle the problem of this country. People, cannot, people can barely feed. And that is the worst thing that can happen to any man. Roads are not good. There's no light. Nothing is working in this country. And so we cry to you, Lord, that you come and help us. Heal our land, oh God. Father, heal our land. You know how to do it. Father, Lord Almighty, help our leaders. Help them, my Lord, to put this right for the people. The people are suffering. The people are suffering. People can no longer do what they ought to do. Transport fares have increased. Father, no light, no road, nothing is good here. And so, Lord, we pray that you have mercy on our nation, Nigeria, and heal our land. It's our utmost prayer. Heal our land, O oh God. 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 We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's take that prayer daily. Let God have mercy on Nigeria. Let God heal our land. And we know as we pray daily, He will hear us in Jesus' name. You are blessed for watching this uh, broadcast. Where are you watching me from? God bless you. Please, I want to, I want to get that comment. I want to know where you are watching from. And I also want to know what this page is doing in your life. It's a monthly prayer. And I know it's a monthly class that we attend here. And I know God Almighty, who lives in heaven, will bless every member of this family who will always look, wait for this message at the beginning of every month. 
I declare from the beginning of October to the end, the Lord God of heaven will protect you. The Lord God of heaven will watch over you. The Lord God of heaven will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. In the name of Jesus, you will go and come back. You will travel and return. You go to work and return. You have food to eat. You have clothes to wear. The Lord protect you in the day and in the night. That every good blessing in the month of October, receive it now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, you have a fulfilled and a wonderful month of October. Amen. Please, have you given your life to Jesus? He is the Savior of our souls. Yeah. I'm an evangelist of the Most High, ordained to preach the good news of the Lord from coast to coast, from shore to shore. From day to day, I preach this word. And I'm encouraging you this morning to please give your life to Jesus. Without Him, we go nowhere. When our work here is done, and we stand before our King, the one who brought us here, we'll go and give Him an account. And if you don't know Him, He will also tell you, I don't know you. So please give your life to Jesus. Look for a Bible-believing church. Surrender your life to Him so that you'll be sure of your salvation. So that whenever the trumpet sounds, you will not be found in hell. You have a place with your Father and your Creator. So just lift up your right hand if you are about to give your life to Jesus. And say after me, Father, thank you for the love you have for me. You sent your Son Jesus to come and die for me. Today, I agree with you, Father, and I give my life unto you. From today, I choose you as my Father, and I will serve you all the days of my life. Wipe my name from the book of destruction, and write my name in the book of life. Come, Jesus, and abide with me. From today, I am your own. In Jesus' name, I accept you. Amen. Congratulations. You are welcome to the body of Christ. Go to a Bible-believing church, register there, serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. And I know you will not regret giving your life to Jesus. God bless you. Remain blessed, remain focused, and remain rapturable. Till I come your way in the month of November, may you cast all your cares upon him, and may he answer you speedily. In Jesus' name, you remain a blessing. Amen.